Hello, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Welcome to this lesson on how to write a table chart essay. There are five steps to writing a high scoring academic task one essay. One, analyse the question. Two, identify the main features of the graphic. Three, write an introduction. Four, write an overview. And five, write the details paragraphs. I want to start by highlighting the importance of steps one and two. It's essential that you learn how to do this planning stage properly, if you hope to write a high scoring essay. Many students are reluctant to spend time on the first two steps, as they want to use as much of the 20 minutes allowed for the exam as possible, writing rather than planning. However, it's important that you do them, as they're the key to getting high marks for your table chart essay. In this lesson, we're going to work through the five stages step by step as we answer a practice question. Before we start, here's a model essay structure that you can use as a guideline for all academic task one questions. Ideally, your essay should have four paragraphs. Paragraph one is the introduction. Paragraph two, an overview. Paragraph three, you write about the first main feature. And in paragraph four, you write about the second main feature. We now have everything we need to begin planning and writing our table chart essay. Here's our practice question. The table below gives the distribution of world population in 1950 and 2000, with an estimate of the situation in 2050. Summarise the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. The format of every academic task one question is the same. Here's our practice question again, with the words that will be included in all questions highlighted. Every question consists of sentence one, which is a brief description of the graphic, sentence two, which is the instruction sentence, and the graphic itself, which might be the chart, the graph, the table, the map, etc. Sentence 2 tells you what you have to do. You must do three things. Select the main features, write about the main features, and compare the main features. All three tasks refer to the main features of the graphic. You do not have to write about everything. Just pick out two or three key features and you'll have plenty to write about. Some students find table chart questions more difficult to interpret than other types of graphic, as they're just sets of numbers with no visual representation. However, they're not as complicated as they may at first look. Remember, the IELTS exam is designed to test your language skills, not your mathematics ability. All you're looking for are the main features. However, this can be a challenge, as tables generally contain a lot of information making it difficult to pick out the main features. Use the information in the graphic to help you identify them. And here are some useful questions you can ask. What are the units of measurement? What are the time periods? What can you learn from the title and any labels? What is the most obvious trend? And are there any notable similarities? I give more detail on how to use these questions plus downloadable checklists for identifying the main features of all seven different types of academic task one questions in the lesson on how to understand and analyse task one questions. There's a link to it in the notes below this video. The key to understanding it is to use the clues given in the title, the rows and column headings and the units of measurement. For example, the title of the table tells us that it shows changes in world population from 1950 to projected levels in 2050. The world is divided into regions, for example Africa, Asia, etc. And data is given for three specific years, 1950, 2000 and 2050, which is projected data. This is a clue that we need to use the past present and future tenses in our essay. In the first table, the units of measurement are billions of people. 
and in the second table, percentages of the total world population are used. Don't look at the numbers in detail at this stage. Instead, focus on general trends. What are the most notable changes in data between 1950 and projected figures for 2050? There are a number of different features we could select from this table chart. Here are the three that I've chosen. Main feature 1. The only region where percentage is expected to increase by 2050 is Africa. Main feature 2. Europe is expected to have the greatest drop in percentage contribution by 2050. And main feature 3. The only region showing a fluctuation in percentage contribution over the whole time period is Asia. The key features you select will be the starting point for your essay. You will then go on to add more detail later. However, with just 20 minutes allowed for task 1 and a requirement of only 150 words, you won't be able to include much detail. We're now ready to begin writing our essay. Here's a reminder of the four-part structure we're going to use. Paragraph 1 is the introduction. Paragraph 2, the overview. In paragraph 3, we cover the first main feature. And in paragraph 4, we write about the second main feature. First, the introduction. There isn't room to include the graphic on each slide, but if you want to refer to it as we work through the four paragraphs, Bring up the table chart lesson on my website, ieltsjackie.com, where you'll be able to see it. The link is in the notes below. In the introduction, you should simply paraphrase the question, that is, say the same thing in a different way. You can do this by using synonyms and changing the sentence structure. For example, the question is, the tables below give the distribution of world population in 1950 and 2000, with an estimate of the situation in 2050. And here's how we could write the introduction. The table compares changes in world population distribution between the six key regions from 1950 to 2000, with predictions for the year 2050. And that's all you need to do for the introduction. In the second paragraph, you should report the main features you see in the table, giving only general information. The detail comes later in the essay. Here are the key features we picked out earlier. For this graphic, I picked out three, rather than the two suggested. This is fine, but I don't recommend having more than three, as you won't have time to write about them all. Main feature one is the only region where the percentage is expected to increase by 2050 is Africa. Main feature 2. Europe is expected to have the greatest drop in percentage contribution by 2050. And main feature 3. The only region showing a fluctuation in percentage contribution over the whole time period is Asia. Now form these ideas into two or three sentences, with a total of around 40 words. State the information simply, using synonyms where possible. No elaborate vocabulary or grammar structures are required. Just the appropriate words and correct verb tenses. For example, the only region where the percentage contribution is expected to increase by 2050 is Africa, while Europe is expected to have the greatest drop in proportion over the same time span. The sole continent showing a fluctuation in percentage contribution over the 100-year period is Asia. Paragraphs 3 and 4 of your table chart essay are where you include more detailed information about the data in the graphic. In paragraph 3, you should give evidence to support your first one or two key features. Here are the first two again. Main feature 1 was the only region where percentages is expected to increase by 2050 is Africa. And main feature 2 is Europe is expected to have the greatest drop in percentage contribution by 2050. And this is an example of what you could write. From a relatively small percentage contribution of 9% in 1950, the people of Africa are forecast to make up a fifth of the total world population by 2050. 
This is almost a reversal of the situation for Europe, which stood at 22% in 1950 and is expected to continue its steady decline to reach just 7% in 2050. For the fourth and final paragraph, you do the same thing for your remaining key features. We have one left. Main feature three is the only region showing a fluctuation in percentage contribution over the whole time period is Asia. And here's an example of what you could write. Another notable trend can be seen in the data for Asia, which is the only region to show an increase in proportion contribution over the first 50 years, but the prediction of a decline, albeit small, looking forward to 2050. The remaining regions, North America, Latin America and Oceania, each make up less than 10% of the total world population and show only minor fluctuations in contribution over the whole time period. It's best to mention all the regions if at all possible, but you could get away with missing out the last sentence if really pushed for time. Here are the four paragraphs brought together to create our finished essay. The sample table chart essay is well over the minimum word limit, so you can see that you don't have space to include very much detail at all. That's why it's essential to select just two or three main features to write about. Now use what you've learned in this lesson to practice answering other table chart questions. Start slowly at first and keep practicing until you can plan and write a complete essay in around 20 minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now.